I'd like to talk about the characterhood of God and how he is perceived throughout um, the religious world, especially Christians. And um, they have a faulty understanding of the characterhood of God, and they view God, I mean, for the most part, I mean, they understand that that to have a personal relationship with Jesus is, is, is kind of like a horizontal relationship. However, um, they think that the perception of Jesus, the character as Jesus, is, um, they think he's, he's, in their concept of what sin is, they think he's, he's without sin. However, in that frame of mind, if you read the New Testament, you'll understand that Jesus hung around with the tax collectors and the sinners and the harlots and the prostitutes. He partied with them. He probably drank beer, you know, if there, if there, was, if there was beer at the time. Um, he probably smoked cigarettes if there was smoked cigarettes at the time, too. Um, what I'm trying to help you understand is that, yes, Jesus is holy, or I am holy in this current incarnation. Um, however, um, you cannot look at my acts and deeds, you know, I'll use profanity sometimes, I'll draw naked women sometimes. That does not pollute me, that does not corrupt me, that does not make me a sinner, because I'm the standard. See, that's the whole thing about your, the perception of God, or the avatar that represents God in the flesh. He is the standard by which he judges other people. Okay, so he is sinless. It doesn't matter. You cannot look at the act itself. You have to look at the person. And that person is the standard by which he judges everybody else. Okay. Now, um, I think it, you can understand the concept. Uh, I think like a, I'm going to draw for you um, a seesaw, basically. Okay. God is here in the center. Okay. This is this is this would be uh, this would be the evil side, and this would be the good side, <clears throat> or the holy side. This would be the wicked side. Okay. Now the problem with most people on their spiritual quest for understanding God is they think that God is over here. Okay. So they're walking, or they imagine they're walking, and they're ascending this this seesaw in this direction. And not realizing that the standard, God, me, is right here in the center. Okay, he's not way over here. So, in all actuality, they actually leap over God and they become too righteous. Okay? Or too holy. <clears throat> now, the problem is that once you, once you cross the center point, you're going to start tipping the other way. Okay? So, basically... The further you go into your your perception of your understanding, you think you think you're becoming closer to God. You're actually moving farther away from God, and the results of being over here on this imbalanced end of the seesaw of the spiritual seesaw is that you become self righteous, which includes having spiritual pride. which another manifestation of your deeds on this side would be judgment. You become very judgmental of other people. And so you start criticizing everybody on this end of the spectrum here, the wicked people. You don't, you don't, only, you don't, only, you don't only forsake their deeds, you, know, you don't repudiate what they're doing, but you also, you also judge the people and you, you categorize them as evil. and you, So you're, you're committing judgment. There's so many Christians. I've been in Christian circles oh, for over two, two decades now, and there's so many of my Christian or former Christian friends who will, will say things like, talking about the, the quote-unquote unsaved, they'll say, like, oh, that person's not saved, he's going to hell. I mean, who are you to judge, man? I mean, you have no right to say whether or not somebody is going to hell. And, and they'll, they'll use it in the context, well, you know, we'll pray for him or we'll pray for her that they'll be saved. <clears throat> but um, you have no right to say that. You have no right to say anybody is going to hell. None whatsoever, because that's just not yours right. I mean, it's, 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 it's a, just a basic statute in, <clears throat> in the Sermon of the Mount. Judge not, and you shall not, shall not be judged. 
So it's very dangerous for you to be on this end. I'm right here, okay? I'm, I'm very down to earth. I'm even Steven. I'm balanced, okay? I'm not, I'm not so-called holy or so-called wicked. I'm right here in the middle, okay? And that's where you need to be. I'm the standard by which I judge your hearts, okay? My seal is the standard. By wearing that seal, you become acceptable. You become holy. You become one with me here in the middle, without judging, without sin. So, um, so if you understand that, even if, any, even if you're crossing over to this side, you're still in sin. You're still in a wrong relationship with me because I'm over here. Okay? Just keep that in mind.